All right, everyone, by now I'm sure you have seen this viral video of a incredible fire rescue, you know, not your typical rescue when these firefighters are called out, but that did not stop this crew from stepping up and helping out this family and uh, quite the interesting rescue. So it's the time of year where we see a rash of house fires and we've got some special guests with us today to discuss the importance of having a fire safety plan, not just for you, but for your family and that includes your pets. So joining us today are firefighters John Phelan and Stephen Kennedy. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Let's talk a little bit about our special guest that we've got over here. That was the star of the video. Yeah, so this is Sunny. She's an albino female. Uh, she's right at about six and a half feet long. It's about 30, 30, about 30 pounds. And uh, yeah, we, we consider snakes part of our family. And uh, we know we just appreciate all the other firefighters helping out and rescuing the snake. She is very cozy over there. She's very happy. <laughs> so John, let's talk about what happened when you were called out to this. Did you have any idea that you were going to be pulling a boa constrictor out? It, it was the, the furthest thing from our mind. Uh, we got dispatched. We thought there was someone actually trapped in the house. So we're, we're going full tilt to get there. We arrive, flame showing, um, and uh, find out the house was clear, uh, but our captain was inside. He found the snake, and uh, you know, snakes are members of the family. So as he's come out the window, he's kind of got to step up and, and just wing it. So um, but she came out the window, uh, but you can see in the video, immediately turn around. I didn't know what to do. From you go, there. oh no, what do I do? What do I do with my hands? I would be in the same boat. I'd be like, oh no, you want me to take this? What are, yeah. we, what are we supposed to do? Now, luckily, with you being a firefighter mm -hmm. and being an expert of making sure that all of our reptile friends are kept healthy and safe, you are yeah. a perfect fit, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm a firefighter at Advanced DMT also. Uh, I've done a lot of training out there at District 4, and they have me on speed dial, so they called me out and I rushed out. It's amazing. So. And you know, I'm so glad that you are on hand to do mm -hmm. things like this because, you know, John, people like us, we go, what? Yep. How do we do this? Yep, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we've got you here, you know, it's the time of year where we see a lot of people having space heaters or trying to heat their homes, especially as we're going into these colder temps. What kind of fire safety tips would you give them for, you know, not just us, but also for your pets, furry or not furry? Uh, the biggest thing is not overloading your outlets, you know, following your proper amperage and, and not stacking stuff with space heaters and uh, different things like that. And then having a plan, you know, knowing what you're going to do if something were to happen. You know, uh, if you have a, a, a big amount of animals, you know, letting the fire department know ahead of time that, hey, I keep a, a significant amount. This is, you know, at this address and uh, kind of giving a heads up, prepare for the worst, you know, and, and hope for the best. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, one thing I know that I have at my house, I don't know if you guys provide them or not, but you can order them online. The stickers that go on the outside of your house will let you know right. how many cats or dogs are there or even, you know, yeah. Sunny, just stashing <laughs> away back there. Good safety tips, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I was also going to say with the snakes. <laughs> Uh, with, with, I'm sorry, with, yeah. got me all distracted. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, with the snakes, you are supposed to have special permits here in, in Caddo Parish and in Louisiana. And uh, so, you know, certain like wildlife and fisheries and animal control are supposed to know what you have uh, beforehand. And then, you know, some of the, the stickers are a great idea, but, you know, if you have exotic animals, make sure you get the kinds where you can write in, not just yes. check off the dogs and cats. Some of them, you know, have specific things on there and they don't have room for exotic pets. So just make sure you get something and, and like he said, make it have a pre-plan and make sure everybody knows beforehand in case anything happens. Yeah, some great yeah. information there. Now, looking at the video that we just played, mm -hmm. um, Sunny looked like she had some minor burns, maybe just a little smoke damage, but she looks like she's doing really Yeah, well. she looks great. Uh, that's what we thought when we originally pulled her out. Um, but I got her home, I gave her a little shower and, and most of that stuff washed off. We thought it was just ash and soot from the fire. Okay. And, uh, I'm just going to keep watching her to make sure she doesn't have any respiratory problems or, you know, any smoke inhalation or anything like that. So, but she seems to be doing great. Great. That's yeah. what we like to hear, you know, and again, we are glad that we have an expert over here. Steve Snakesuary, if you've never checked them out on Facebook or even YouTube, there's all kinds of great information mm -hmm. out there. And I'm glad that you guys were in the right place at the right time. Exactly. Yeah, we are too. We are too. Well, thank you guys for what yeah. you did. And Sunny, we wish you a speedy recovery. She's a little camera shy over here, but she's living her best life. So guys, check out the full story. We're going to put it up at KSLA.com, or you can even open it in our KSLA News 12 app. We're going to slither on out and we'll be back in just a minute.